Well, we've treated ourselves today. We've put a tripod out. We thought it was going to rain. I've got my very good friend Dave the Steam here with me. How are you doing, Dave? Oh, fair enough. How the stress? Yeah, uh, how stressful watching this beautiful, <laughs> quite a rare uh, steam crane from, from Markey, is it not? Yes, it's quite a nice unit and uh, this one certainly runs well. And uh, detachable roof of course. Like so. And this came with a job lot, didn't we? We bought quite a lot of them. Together. Yes, we bought quite a lot that didn't work. <laughs> no, I don't think... Did any of them work? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so, what have you done to it? I mean, apart from the amazing clean-up, one thing I have to say, you haven't over-blinged this, and I like it. It's a working engine. I like that. Yes, well, most of them have been uh, run even just if they were run on air. If they weren't run on, uh, you know, steamed up. They've been left too long and the uh, oil had started uh, rotting away in places. Yeah. Things have started seizing up, things are stripping and bleeding and oiling again. And as you can see, I'm going to perform a rather dodgy zoom in here. But as you can see, running a tree. Oh, and it's got, um, you've added working lights. Yes. It has, the lights are removed and worked on the lathe. Uh, to fit a, a light fitting in the front of them. The batteries for the lights are in the container here, the light switch is here, and I'm not sure whether the camera can actually we see. We probably won't see it in the daylight, Governor, I shouldn't think. But the lights switch on, especially when you can get up and switch it to on, see which way go, and the lights are now on. Whether you can be seen or not, I don't know. There is just light maybe out of there. Yeah. They're quite bright actually in out of sunlight. But the best bit of course is um, if I can get to the top of the thing, sorry about the old uh, shaky moves on the camera. It's got a working crane. Yes. How does that work? Well the crane is fed off of the main shaft on cross gears operated by a lever here, which pulls it into gear. If you don't want a clash, it's best done <laughs> with the engine not running. Then we lower it down. I didn't put it into gear properly. There we go. Yep. For some reason it's turning itself. Ah, oh, I see. Of course, I've got it the wrong way round. That's better. You lock it, you can lock it into gear and it stops it. There we are lowering down. Reverse. Driven by the shaft through the gears. And it's picking up the weight. Up she goes. Well, Another one for the forum, a beautiful restoration, I'm sure you'll all agree. And just to finish off with a working whistle. Well done, David's team, another cracker. Just out of interest, before we do close down, air fed through the imitation pipes, so no need to see it. And the hoist is almost at the top, so a good place to call it a day. Beautiful work, Dave.